Hello everybody, my name is Bohmir and today I'm going to make a small review of devices I usually use uh, for my piano playing. As a pianist I need a lot of scores and if I should bring all of them with me that would be really heavy so i was thinking how to solve this problem and i have found that some people play from tablets so i have been looking around a little bit and i wanted to buy electronic ink tablet but uh, it was unavailable in my country and it was really expensive instead of that i have bought this samsung galaxy note it's a 12, 12 inch tablet, it's uh, pretty big, it's not the uh, same big as A4, but it's nearly A4. I almost don't use the tablet for anything else but the piano playing. I have some small applications like uh, Facebook or eBay, but mostly I play from the tablet. I have bought the device from UK of eBay and I was really lucky because in that time it was one year ago and this device costed uh, something like uh, 700 pounds British pounds or 800 euros but uh, I bought this thing for 350 euros uh, that was real real bargain uh, because the seller didn't know that uh, actually this tablet is the Note version. It has a pencil. It's not pad, but it's Note, Galaxy Note. So he was selling this device as a Galaxy tablet pad. So when it came home, I was extremely happy what I got. And the stylus, the pen is really handy. The tablet is quite big and heavy. It's, it has 800, 900 grams and it's also really big. And I actually don't like so much the uh, Samsung environment because I think it's quite unintuitive and maybe it's also that I don't know what to do with, with the space because it's so big screen. Otherwise, the, the screen is beautiful. I have a screen protector on it. It's uh, matte, uh, so it doesn't shine, it doesn't uh, mirror so much the light. And it's pretty fast. The, the screen is great, especially without the, the screen protector. Now, the screen protector is eating colors a little bit. What's pretty amazing on this tablet is uh, its battery life. I can have 10, 12 hours of battery life and it's strong, uh, I don't uh, have to be worried that the tablet will die during a concert or anything. For the reading of the score I have bought a special application, it's called Mobile Sheets Pro and it's uh, made by Zubersoft. And I think it's pretty cool application. It uh, does everything what I need and even more that I don't use and probably won't ever use. But let's start with the application. It's pretty fast. And here it's my list of scores that I played this year. I work as a collaborative piano teacher, so I need lots of scores and for one week I need, I don't know, 100 to 200 pages. So if I should, uh, if I should take everything with me in a paper scores, that would be really heavy. So this is really helpful for me. This program has one super cool function and it is cropping of PDF. If you play or if you have seen a PDF score, you have usually really thick corners of just plain white. You don't need those corners. And with this application, with this function, you can actually cut the corners. And this application uh, is able to do it also automatically. So it's really cool. If you have small tablet, 
you can just cut the white corners and it will look much 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 better. To the files, to the pieces, you can put almost any information here. Uh, you can add audio to it and you can add also MIDI to it, so it can play when you play. So now let's look on the reader itself. So here we have the list and I will just pick any piece random. It was pretty fast. Uh, the screen never goes black if you have your score in front of you. And you play from it and if you need to turn your page, just do this. And next one. Or you can press one of the corners here. Totally okay. If you need to go back, no problem. You go just back. What's good? You can make links. So if you have, for example, uh, some repetition and you have to go three pages back, no problem. You do just a new link. You put it somewhere where you want, where you are able to tap, put the link and then you, you can list any page you want and you put the second part of the link. Now, if you need to turn so much, you play, you read and then just press the link and voila, you are on the, on the desired page. I think it was like four pages. Good. You can make bookmarks, you can make links, you can make uh, clever buttons or smart buttons that uh, if you press them you can go to the end of piece, to the next piece or to start metronome or anything just by one click. You can play MIDI, you have metronome here and then you have also settings of the screen. So, so uh, for example, if you, if you put your tablet like this, either you can view it as a really big one page or you can divide it to two pages. The best thing on this reader is that you can actually write your own notes. You save them and you can, for example, uh, export them in PDF. And it's very easy to do. You just go to the uh, editing mode. Uh, you take your pencil or you can also write it with your finger. You can write as you want. You can pick any color you want. You can use your marker to mark. You can write anything, use stamps, and if you don't like it, you just delete it. So it's very easy. If you want to save, press save. If you don't want to save, just cancel it. Here we are. The stability of the reader is quite good. I had some problems before. Uh, for example, blank screen or it was mostly problems with cropping and uh, with my notes. But uh, nowadays it's totally okay and I actually don't have so many problems with it. So it's very much usable. I wouldn't use it for uh, crucial concerts or competition, but uh, for studies or for uh, accompaniment at school or my job, it's great. I have here today one more funny thing that I use. It's AirTurn BT105. It's Bluetooth wireless page turner. And it's so cool thing to have because even with tablet I had always problem how to turn the page fast. And with this it's no problem. It has two pedals and control unit and it's quite well made, it's very rigid, very hard, very strong, no moving parts and I usually put it next to my left foot, 
next to my left pedal. Oh, we are. Do are we connected? No, we are not connected. When I have started to use this device, I was thinking that oh, it's not possible for me to to learn to turn my pages with this because. I had already two pedals or three pedals and now I should have two more. But then after one week I played a piece from my paper score and I actually wanted to turn my paper score by stepping on this right pedal but it wasn't working of course. It is a really nice device. Uh, this unit, control unit, you can actually take apart. Like this. So, I uh, I don't know how to take out the pedals. It's strange that the control unit is wobbly. It's just velcro strap that's holding the the unit. Strange. Another strange thing is that it has only one button and only one light. So. You actually start the, dev the device by pressing this button. Some green blinking. Okay, and now we are connected. You just press the right pedal and the page turns. If you press it two times fast, the program has uh, some insurance that it won't turn two pages, so don't worry, just turn it and yeah. it it goes always really well to turn the page the pressure on the pedal i think it's totally all right it's not too much uh, that you should really press it hard but it's not too little so if you just put your your foot slightly on the top nothing happens so pretty good as a contour of working you have also red light here, so if you press pedal and you see a green red light together, it's right, it's working. And you also see that my tablet is actually turning pages. When your battery goes uh, low, the green light turns to orange light, if it is 20%, and below 10% is uh, it's red light and then your battery is dead. It's the most idiotic way how to control a device through this button, one button. The start is not bad, you just press the button, it's alright. If the green light shines, if you have it paired and the green light shines uh, slowly, like this, with long intervals, it's okay, it's connected. But if you need to, to turn it off, you need to press the button for 3 seconds. So, 1, 2, 3. And now you, you saw 3 LED, three LED lights and it's turned off. I had some problems with this, that uh, when I pressed the button, when I wanted to turn off the device and press the button for less than 3 seconds, it has disconnected. And I wasn't able to pair it, to connect it again, and it was during a concert. So it was quite a problem. I don't know why they didn't do some more intuitive way how to control the device. I mean, they probably thought, oh, musicians, they are so stupid, so let's put there one button for everything. So one button, button for disconnecting, one button for turning on off, one button for switching modes and etc. Strange. Another thing that drives me nuts is that if I connect the charging cable to the device, I can't see if it is actually charging or not. So first time when I got the device and I wanted to charge the device, 
I just didn't know if I did something wrong or if the device is broken or because no lights were shining when it was charging on and I also didn't know when it is charged or strange. Otherwise it's really good device and I'm really happy with it. I'm so glad that I got it. I got it also of eBay. It costed uh, $40 in totally new condition with original packing and everything. Good deal. I had some stability issues with this combination. It's probably fail of the program, so they should fix it. Sometimes when I pressed the pedal, and I wanted to turn the page, it didn't work. Uh, instead of that, uh, it plopped black screen. And yeah, it was pretty bad because two times it was at a concert. So I was quite lucky that I, first time I was able to play by heart and second time I managed to restart the application and start over, so yeah. So at the end, I would recommend this application and this device to the people who need to play from lots of scores, who takes with them lots of scores, uh, who want to try something new and uh, who don't have hands for turning pages and who also wants to be seen. Because since I got these two devices, I'm getting constant questions uh, from the audience, from my colleagues, from everybody and everybody thinks it's so cool. I usually put the device next to my left pedal, so um, I'm turning pages by my left foot, it works the best. And uh, the device has those rubber, rubber legs or rubber pegs. So thanks to that the device stays quite stable on various surfaces. However, on some surfaces it doesn't stay so well, for example some carpets or wooden floors or etc. Because it's quite lightweight. It has uh, 300 grams. So it sails around. So you need to check with your left uh, leg if it is still there and maybe adjust the position a little bit. So what should I say to the end? I really like this device. I really like the program. I just hope that they will improve some bugs, as I mentioned, the stability, etc. Thank you for watching and I hope I will see you in my next video. Have a great time.